hey good day guys you welcome again to my channel i am joshua the designer and i'll be showing to you in this video how to modify structural elements without invalidating your building analysis all right because each time you are done your you have done your building analysis and you attempt to make modifications along your structural elements it definitely would invalidate your building analysis and one of the disadvantage of this each time you do that is because uh, is that it brings about cumulative um effect on your loadings so it, it increases it unnecessarily and you might not be able to um, go along with the result that you have in that scenario all right so how do you edit your member sizes how do you make modifications without invalidating the bidding analysis and um, still having um, considerations that are correct accurate in your design so how do you go about it now having done your bidding analysis i this is my project and i've done uh, bidding analysis all the way up to date all right so if i attempt to make any modifications here for example I intend to change the size of this particular beam, which is um, 450 by 225. I intend to change it to 600 by 225 in section. So if I attempt to do that now by going to properties, and um, I want you to see something, what I'm trying to say. If I want to update it, now look at this. It says the following analysis results will be invalidated if you pro proceed, meaning that if I proceed with that, all my analysis gets invalidated i wouldn't be able to continue with such analysis because i'd um, modified so something within the lines all right so if i do not want to go back that way and uh, i don't want my bidding analysis to get invalidated yet i want to modify member sizes or some other stuff how do i do all right so now we go and say no because we do not want we still want to use that bidding analysis so i'd rather go to sections to the design result this beam is beam on grid line c then i will find story beams all right then i look for story um story one so we can filter by story then we'll find grid line c all right which is this now this is the grid line this is the beam on grid line c that we want to deal with all right instead of that which we wanted to do formally that will invalidate our results we can do it interactively how then do i do it you get down to beams this you can see here clicking beams you have such as this when you get to this point this is an interactive um template so to say where we can make certain um modifications so the depth uh, as i intend to do is to change to 600 so i can do that here then after i change that i can design now this is interactive design it designs as per what i have um, done there so i've designed that for 600 you do the same thing for this span design for 600 it, it takes effect interactive design that's true then this one also 600 interactive design now you, you see that i can change all of these things now without my bidding analysis being affected so when you are done here we go back to rebars so if you want to update your steel now you see the section has increased to 600 by 25 yet my bidding analysis is still intact all right so if you want to update your steel bars you can just select bars select bars right on the left top corner all right so your bars are up to date now then you can use your ok now let's check our building um the general arrangement and see if the changes have been made now you see 600 by 25 600 by 25 and my building analysis is still intact all right so this is just a way you can go about it if you have any questions along this line please do well to reach out use the comment section as i'll be there to attend to any of your queries questions or comments and if you are a first time viewer i like that you use the subscribe button 
subscribe to this channel like this video share with your colleagues that should get better in structural engineering i'll always be with you see you in the next video bye